In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Canva's brand new free video editor and screen recorder. So as you guys may know, Canva is a photo editing tool and I love using it. I've made a few tutorials on it, but recently Canva announced a video editor that's also built into the Canva suite. And within this video editor, you can do single layer video editing and multi-layer audio editing. And on top of that, you can also record yourself and your screen all online. So we're going to be going over all the basics on how to use this brand new editor. And by the end of this video, hopefully you feel comfortable using this new Canva video editor to make your own videos. If you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button down below. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is just go on Canva and I'll link it down below and you either want to create an account or log in and it's totally free to make an account. So we're just going to continue with Google and log in. So once we're in Canva, all we want to do is go to create a design and we're just going to search for video. And once video comes up, we're just going to click on it. And the default is 1080p. So we're just going to keep that, click on it, and it's going to open up our video canvas. So if you guys haven't used Canva before, I'm just going to go over the interface really quickly, as well as the new video components. So right here, we have our main canvas. And on the top, we also have the option to resize this. So we can also make it, you know, a Facebook video, or we can make a 720p if we wanted to. On the left side, you're going to find all of your different elements. So one thing that Canva has a lot of is templates that you can use to make videos. And this is one great thing about Canva. All of these templates make it really easy to make certain types of videos. Now in this video, we're covering just the free components of the Canva video editor. So not things such as the magic resize or these pro templates, but if you wanted to add a free template, you can just click on it. And then if you wanted to apply all the pages, you can just click on apply 10 pages and everything is added and you could easily edit it. Now we're not going to be doing that. So I'm just going to press Control Z to undo. Now Canva also has a lot of different elements. This includes charts, graphics, as well as images, both free ones and premium ones. And you can search because there's literally hundreds of thousands of elements on here. You can also upload your own media by going to uploads. And then we have text and any other elements you can find by going on more. Now on the bottom here, we're going to see the different layers. Now the Canva video editor is single layer. So you can only have one layer of video, but you can have multiple layers of audio and you can also add elements such as text or the different stickers on top. So even though there's one video layer, you can still have multiple layers of different items. So the first thing we're going to do is just add a video. So to add a video, all we're going to do is go into elements and use their videos. So I'm just going to go to videos, go to see all, and I'm just going to look for a video of a car. We'll just get this one of the trunk closing. And to add a video, all we can do is drag it onto this canvas. And of course we can move it around. Now to resize this video, all we have to do is drag it. And if you wanna keep the proportions, you drag it normally. But if you wanna change the proportions, you hold shift and you drag like so. So we're gonna keep the proportions because they look like they're 16 by nine and we're going to have it fit the canvas. It's actually not 16 by nine. So I'm just going to hold shift and make it fit like so. And now we have our video on this first page. Now, if we wanted to add another video, we could add a new page by clicking the plus button over here. And similarly, say we wanted to add another video of a car. Let's find one that isn't pro. Mm -hmm. We'll just add this one of the driver. We can also just drag that over here. And this one already is 1080p, so it'll fit. And we have that video added. Now, if you wanted to play, all you have to do is press this play button over here. And if we wanted to reorder these clips, all we have to do is just drag them like so, and they'll be switching the direction. And if we have a lot of clips and we wanna change the zoom, we can of course drag this over here. Or if we wanted to see like all 20, 30 clips, we can click on this grid view button and it'll show us all the pages as well. So I'm just going to go back. And essentially that is how you add different videos onto Canva. You can also add your own videos if they're in uploads with the same process, all you have to do is drag it. Now, if you want to crop a video, there's two ways you can do this. First of all, you can click on the video on the timeline and then just drag like so to crop it and it'll crop on its own. Or say I want to just you know, the video after this part to be deleted, all I have to do is go to where I want the video clip to be split and then just right click on the video and go to split 
and it's now going to be broken into two different videos. And then I can click on this one, press delete, and that's another way I can just trim the clips. Now, if you wanna add transitions to your videos, all you have to do once again is right click on the video and go to add transition. And say I wanted to add a dissolve like so, I can just click on dissolve. And now in between these clips, there will be a dissolve transition like so. So as you can see, Canva video is very intuitive. And if you've used another video editor, it should be fairly, fairly familiar to use, even though it's brand new. Next, I'm going to be showing you how to add different elements. So this works for both text as well as different images that you want to add on top. So the first thing I'm going to do is just add some text. So all we have to do is go to text over here, and I'm just going to add this sparkle text here, but you can search for a ton of different ones. For example, if you wanted cursive, there's cursive text, but we're just going to add the sparkle one because it looks pretty good and it's right there. So to add text, all you have to do is drag it and the text editor comes up like so. So we're just going to make the font a lot smaller and we're going to make it 200. We're going to change the text color and make it white like so. And we're going to make it say, you know, race number one. And we're just going to move it. And when you drag a element, the grid lines will automatically appear when you have something center aligned. If you wanted to add more um, effects to the text, you can also click on effects, but because we use like a templated text, there's already the neon applied. So we don't need to add anything. So we're good to go. Now that we have the text, we can also animate the text. So to do so, we can first of all, right click on the text and go to animate, or we can just click on the text and go to animate over here. So I'm just going to do that and go to animate. And as you can see, there's a lot of free animations we can use. And if we just hover, we can see the different types of effects. So I really like the typewriter one. So all I'm gonna do is click on it and it should be good to go. And now if we just go to the beginning, like so, and we click play, the race one has this new animation and it looks good to go. Now, when you add different elements to Canva, as you can see right now, they don't show up on this actual pane over here. So if you want to actually edit the race one text, you don't click over here. Instead, you can click directly on the element and all of the effects will show up. And if you are done using you know, the different effects and you don't wanna accidentally click on it and drag it. If you have a ton of elements, you can also lock an element. So to lock an element, all you have to do is click on it and click on this lock button over here. Now, similarly to unlock it, you can just click and click on the lock button again. And up here, you can also do things such as copy the style. You can also duplicate it or you can delete it. So there's a bunch of settings on the top right as well. So that's how you add text and elements are the same thing. So for example, if I wanted to find different graphics and also have a car and have race one, I could just drag it on and it's the same story. So I can maybe make it a bit smaller like so. And this would have been a good time to lock the race text so I don't accidentally click on it. But I can just do that. I can also go to animate and I can add a transition that I like. So I'm just going to add the fade one. As you can see, race one, it shows up and it looks great. Next, we're going to edit and add some audio. So for audio, you can once again go into your uploads or you can use the free audio that they have. So I'm just going to find a song that I like. So I'm just going to type in ukulele because I think all the car audio is pro, but this one is free. So to add audio, all you have to do is once again, drag it and it'll be added. Now, if you wanna change how long the audio is playing for, all you have to do is once again, click and drag. Now, even though this audio is playing for the duration of the clip, which is 13 seconds, you can also want to edit the part of the song that's playing for those 13 seconds. So to edit that, all you have to do is right click and then go to adjust and the entire song will show up. And then you can drag from the outside here to select what part of the song you want playing for that duration. Similarly, you can also edit the audio levels by clicking on the audio going to the volume button over here and changing it. Or you can right click and go to volume and the same thing will show up and you can turn the volume down if you want. Now say you have multiple levels of audio. So say you have a voiceover and a song. Um, what you can also do is see the multiple layers within the Canva video editor. Now I'm just going to show you with the same song. So if we click on this and we duplicate it, 
we can see that we now have two different layers of audio. So whenever you add a new audio track, it's really easy to edit because it does create a new layer and you can do the same thing. You can trim it, you can make one, you know, less loud. You can also adjust it. So it works the exact same way and it's just in a layer format, but we only need the one layer. So we're going to go ahead and delete it. And that is how you add and edit audio. Next, I'm going to show you how to record yourself or your screen or both. So to do that, all you have to do is go into uploads and then you can click on record yourself and the recorder is going to show up. And on the top here, you can choose either camera only or screen share. Now I can't do the camera right now because I'm already using it to record my face. So I'm going to select screen share and then you have a choice for which screen you want to record. So I'm just going to choose screen one. Oh ho, what a coincidence. It says that you should like comment and subscribe, but yeah, there we go. Now it shows up and you can of course see my screen over here. Here you can select the audio, so your microphone, your video, as well as the screen you wanna record and your camera. And once everything is set up the way you want it to, if you're using a face cam, the face cam would also automatically show up here. All you have to do is click on record and it's going to have a timer and it's going to record your screen. And so if I put my cursor here, you can see it recording. And once you're done, you can just click on done and then click on save and exit. And it's going to add the video to your videos. And as you can see, it's right here and it's added as an element on top of this layer over here. And then what I can do with this element is go ahead and manipulate it like any other element. So I can make it full screen or not. Now, since this is not part of our car video, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. But that is how you add different videos. And sorry, that is how you record your screen as well as your face and then add it to your final video. Now, the final thing I'm going to show you is how to export your project. So if you want to preview your project, all you have to do is click on this play button and it's going to play from the start. So as you can see, we have this race one uh, commercial that we made and this is the car that's racing. So everything looks good. So we're going to click on close and then we can either go to share if we want to email it to somebody or we can go to download to download our project or if we wanted to share it anywhere else, we can also click on these three dots. So as you can see, we can automatically add it to our drive or share the link. But we're just going to click on download as an MP4 video. And once we're ready, we can see that it's going to download as an MP4, which is what we want because that's a video file. And then we're going to click on download and it is going to download our final project. But that's about it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.